In this video, I'm going to show you how I wired an Xbox controller to a stationary bike to create the ultimate workout controller. Okay, let's start this project off by looking at the in-game bike controls. I need to press the A button to start pedaling the bike. Tapping the A button repeatedly causes me to move faster in the game, so I'm going to need to have a way to track how fast I'm moving on the bike. Pressing the left trigger causes me to move in reverse, so I'm going to need some way to track which direction I'm pedaling. That gives me some basic ideas to start with, so now let's look at the hardware I plan to use for this project. First off, I'll be using a third-party Xbox controller because there's really no need to use an expensive official controller for this. As always, the brains of this project will be an Arduino Micro. Uh, this will act as the middleman that will read the sensor data from the bike and send inputs to the controller. The final piece of this project are these magnetic switches. When the two components come near each other, the magnetic field closes the contacts in the switch and it completes the electrical circuit. My plan is to place the switches on the bike frame and the magnet on the wheel. As the wheel spins, the switches will detect the presence of the magnet, and I can use these button pulses to determine the speed and direction of the wheel. Okay, step one is going to be taking the controller apart and seeing what I'm working with. The method I'm using for this project is called pad hacking, and this is where you solder wires directly to the PCB in order to control it. So if you look, you can see these small metal pads all across the board, and uh, these are used during the fabrication process for debugging. You can actually see that several of them are labeled to indicate which button they correspond to. And over in the corner, I can see this one, which is labeled as the A button. So from this information, I know that if I solder a wire to this pad, I can send in a signal from the Arduino that will control the A button. I'll also add hot glue to secure the wires as these pads are brittle and can break with minimal force. The triggers on an Xbox One are analog, so instead of a single button, they are controlled by a potentiometer. I don't see anything on the PCB labeled for the left trigger, so I need to take the controller further apart and find the pin. Potentiometers have three pins in total, one for power, ground, and output respectively. So I'll need to use a multimeter to identify each pin by its output voltage. It turns out on this controller that the middle pin is the output. I'll solder on another wire and glue it down. I need a way to access these wires outside of the controller, so it's time to break out the drill and do a little modification. I just need to route these wires through the hole and make sure that the buttons are all still pressable. Another dab of hot glue and everything should be secure. Seriously, the hot glue gun is one of the best tools ever made. Now I'm adding some additional length of wire that will run between the controller and the bike, and I need to have enough slack so that it doesn't damage any of the connections. I'm also adding this cable sleeve that protects the wires and gives it a clean look to the final project. The last step for wiring is to solder all of the connections to the microcontroller. I'll post a schematic along with the source code on my website for anyone that wants to try this project out for themselves. And here we are at the first live test of the controller design. I just wrote some pretty basic sample code and when I put this magnet near the switch, my character should start to pedal. Perfect. And taking the magnet away should stop. And just for testing purposes, I have the other switch assigned to reverse, however the final code for this project will be much more complex. Now that I know that the magnetic switch idea works, I am placing the magnet on the bike wheel. This magnet will be the only thing in motion as the wheel spins. Here's the first magnetic switch that I'm going to place on the top side of the frame, and I'm using cardboard to get the switch as close to the magnet as possible. And I'll place a second switch on the bottom side. Finally, I will mount the Arduino on the side of the bike. Here is what the bike sensor looks like in motion. Every time that the magnet passes one of the switches, it sends a pulse to the Arduino to let it know that the wheel is spinning. And with that, the project assembly is done and it's time to take my first test ride around Los Santos. All right, first step is to hop onto the bike controller. And now do the same in game. Oh, come on, just get on. And now I'll start pedaling to move. When I stop pedaling, Michael should do the same in game. And if I start pedaling faster, I'll start to sprint on the bike.
By adding another wire to the right trigger and modifying the code, I can control pretty much any vehicle. The possibilities with controller hacking are endless. 